Some good winter rains in Taupo inspired a group of us to head down to Turangi in search of some fresh run rainbow trout. Sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Early okay. start. A little bit early. You think there's enough food for five of us? I guarantee you. Stuff, stuff, soft stuff on top. Oh, that's, that's, I like those pants. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Oh, already to swing. <laughs> Good morning, man. Good morning. Good to see you. Nice. Yeah, we made it. Good it's trip down? It's cold. It's yeah. cold. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit, little bit chilly. I'm going to go get my jacket, get uh, Powell to get their breakfast on. Powell's in charge of breakfast. Let's go our pants for the breakfast. Oh, yes, we sorted it's cooking. the cooker. We, uh, that gas canister was definitely blocked. Blocked, yeah. Blocked. We had a blocked gas canister. Get it done quickly. <laughs> Get it over and done with. <sighs> Quality polish breakfast. Well, up. breakfast sir. After breakfast, we made our way to the boulder pool, crossing in the tail of the blue. I decided to quickly swing the side channel above the boulder. It wasn't long before a trout grabbed my pink beaded olive rabbit intruder and the line went tight. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice to get it. Fish early in the morning. It was a great start to the morning and I was optimistic about how the day might turn out. First fish for the morning, very cool. I arrived at the boulder pool with only Powell swinging the tail with someone wetlining above. As they moved down I popped in above them, but none of us had much luck. Lewis had a bit more success nymphing, hooking two fish and dropping one. Later Simon and Jason arrived and swung through as well without a touch. We moved upstream without much happening, even though conditions seemed perfect. It was nice watching Simon casting his OPST macro scheduled setup, but that was the only action happening. After a quick stop at the Bridgepool Cafe, I changed over to my Euronymphing setup, and we all headed down river. I split from the group and crossed in the tail of the lower bridge to fish some side channels of the braids. Nice effect. Yes, that's a bit of fish. Ah. After dropping one fish, I finally landed my second fish for the day. Yes, yes. Took the natural, fizz and tail. Yes. <laughs> well, there we go. That was to be it for me for the day, and the rest of the group did not pick up many fish either. We spent the evening cooking sausages over the fire and chatting into the night before heading to bed. Have you done any before some sausages from over the fire? Yeah, some sausages on the fire. Sunday dawned clear and frosty, Simon, Meinrad and Powell decided to swing through the hydro pool. 
It was a stunning morning and hopes were high. I jumped in above them and nymphed my way up to the head. A change to a squirmy worm did the trick, but a late strike had the fish hooked in the pectoral fin, making for a tough fight in the current. Yes! That was it for the hydro, so a plan was made to seek out some alternative water to find fish, and that is what happened. Yep, got him. Nice. Cool, that's a lovely fish. Nice, very cool. Nice rainbow. Things can quickly turn around when you find water that has holding some fish. So it pays to think out of the box and look for places that others don't fish or don't know. Yep, got him. Nice fat hen. Lovely fat hen. Beautiful fish. Absolutely lovely fish. Well, one's luck can change pretty quick. Lovely fish. Nice. Just need to find the fish. Yeah. And while I was away, everyone else found some fish too. Back at Old Faithful. See where we can get some. Interesting thing about this trapper speed is that when you put an extension on it, it goes from a 9 foot rod to a 10 foot 6 rod, which you can use for your nymphing and also for single handed swinging. So, a couple of things I'm going to be testing. So, let's see how it goes. Yep, got him. Got him? Yeah. Nice. You good there. Yeah. Thanks for your secrets, Johan. <laughs> You're a valuable resource. Oh, my nest folded over. <laughs> cool. Wait. Nice fish. Thank what you. For you to organize? What did you take? Uh, the bottom one. I took the bottom. Nice fish. Very cool. Nice work. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let him go. It's trips like these that are the essence of winter fly fishing for me. Sometimes it's tough and sometimes you find lots of fish, but it's always a great trip and a stunning place with good mates and good food. To help support the channel, please check out my merch at crazyaboutflyfishing.com. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.